So let's strip. Let's just have a look. This is my personal saber. I'm uh, braiding it to to actually 3D print, 3D print uh, a new internal chassis because this one was handmade and uh, that's not as satisfying as it, as it should be. But just a little look at the connector here. Yeah, you won't see much, but spring pushed pointy connectors. And on the other side, we will have this. So you see it's uh, all the way around three connectors from center to uh, outer rim. We have the two back-to-back -back LED strips inside of it at 144 LEDs uh, per meter. The about 32 inches length blade, transparent, sandpapered, so it will diffuse. Last blade, last, last LED here actually is oriented forward so it will illuminate the last part of the blade and then a little white foam the same one we can find in the this is a force effects blade by the way so you see the old forward oriented leds but this white foam around it very useful i use it and put it back in the new uh, led three blades it works fine and so i also added this uh, diffuser plastic around it because it makes it fit very tightly in the blade but lets the airflow circulate because every time you every time you hit hard the blade what happens is that it gets a little deformed and it can be pressed and the pressure would go and rise inside of it if it's completely sealed which is the reason why i don't use glue on this blade because it's meant for almost heavy dueling and it's just put inside like this it holds perfectly well and lets the pressure get out if need be so then just have to join the two connectors so just for the demonstration, if I take the kill key out, there it is, we can see it's on. So, as I told you, the, the whole sound system works, but there's no light. And now, I just have to, here we go. And so that's the on and off ramp up and ramp down effects. But what you can also see is when I activate the auxiliary switch. It's, uh, it makes the blaster sound, which means it, it makes a blaster fire sound and then uh, deflection on the blade. And with, with the new, with the last year's uh, updates on the soundboard software made by Irv at Plexa Labs, uh, he introduced the um, AccuBolt. Uh, which uh, basically is a system that uses the LED strip system so the, the, the white clash of the, that blaster bolt that you deflected doesn't use the whole blade but only a small portion of it. Look, I hope you will see it on video. This is how it works. I've got my blade and now blasters. You see it happened here. Here, there, and the spot where it hits is actually randomized. So you can go like crazy. Sometimes it will hit twice at the same spot and uh, other times anywhere, totally randomized. 
Now the color profile is browsing. So you activate, once the blade is activated, at the same time you use the auxiliary uh, switch prior to a press on the main switch. Uh, for the purpose of that part of the video, I will be using also the mute on the go um, option on the card, which means by pressing first the auxiliary switch, I muted the soundboard, which is way more practical if I have to talk to you and uh, explain stuff stuff. So let's change the color blade, the blade color. There we go, yellow. We turn a little to the green. Bright green. Another shade of green. I have to reprogram that because I used the original um, settings and it's like four shades of green. This one between green and blue. Greenish, bluish, don't know how to call it. This is Arctic blue, my favorite blue, my favorite color actually. And it's super bright because there's green and blue light at the same time. Royal blue, the classic blue lightsaber color. Not that classic actually, the prequel classic blue lightsaber color because Arctic Blue is the way to go for the original trilogy. There we have it, purple, pink. I have to actually have no white on this setting. I had a uh, white setting uh, with the uh, crystal focus and the uh, center LEDs and uh, I have to program it. This is kind of a... Uh, Pink, red, I don't know, I have to get it out because it's useless. This, back to red. And the Acubolt. And the ram down. And if you don't want to mute the sound anymore, now we can just simply repress the main switch. And here you have it. Changing sound fonts also happens with the auxiliary switch. So you can see now we're in idle mode. just get the auxiliary switch and I let it press and new sound font let me do something for the sounds I get the blade out Ah, maybe I'll show you the flash on clash effect on that baby. So, I have my blade and every impact goes white. There's also, there is also the, the blade lock, the lock up effect when you have two blades locking up and there's a lot of electricity going around so it goes like this simply by pressing and keeping press the auxiliary button and that's the flash and flash again there's also a force effect you have to I do without the blade you actually have to trigger uh, a swing effect while pressing the auxiliary switch and you have a force power kind of uh, effect. Actually, you can program anything you want as a sound font, but that takes a little practice. There you have it. This one is based on the Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy sound effects we used to have on the games. Let's test this one. That's it. It's 
like a, some kind of force push. And the last one. That's a force choke. So here you have it, the Let's Tree Blade. So you see, it's quite handy and it's very simple to install. What you would need to do right now if you want, if we wanted to duel with it, is just tighten this screw, which here is in the need of an Allen branch to be tightened, but we could have a thumb screw actually to tighten the blade, depending on the design. I'm thinking maybe of using the the red uh, OB1 episode one uh, button you have on the, uh, your hilt uh, as the thumb screw actually, and having somewhere else uh, the other two uh, switches, which do not need to be this big because we can use just very small tight tail switches. We'll be talking about that uh, further down uh, the road uh, when the design is advanced. I just wanted now to show you the the blade effect, so enjoy it.